Hello everyone, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. So I thought I'd start off by um, organising my foils with you guys. These little booklets um, I just got off Amazon. And as you can see they've got um, loads of different slots and there's loads of pages. So I can put each individual foil into their own place, it makes it really easy to see. And yeah, let's get into it. So I'm starting by grabbing my smaller foils and I'm just going to organise them by colour and so when I can put them into the booklet it makes it really easy and whenever a customer wants a certain colour on their nails we can just go straight to that colour and obviously they can pick which kind of design they want. So as you can see here I've already started to put a few foils into the book. So all I'm doing is folding the foil in half because it's really not that long. I'm just sliding it in as much as I can with my fingers and then anything that I'm struggling to get in, I'll just use this little like pushing tool to get it in and on top of the design that's on the first page. At this point I realised it's probably best to put two in at the same time. This makes the process twice as quick and it just makes it easier to slot them both in at the same time rather than individually because it just gets a bit too fiddly. started with all my silver and gold foils because I thought they'd be the most popular and then I moved on to the oranges, into the reds and the pinks, um, then onto the purples, a bit of blue, into the light blue and teals and then the greens and just a few little multicolours that I had, a few odd ones. Now I'm moving on to some of my bigger foils. Most of these are Christmas themed so I decided to put them at the back of the book. And I know that Christmas is over, but can we appreciate how gorgeous some of these foils are? This one is a Valentine's theme, so I will be doing a set with this. And then these have got loads of little tiny little Christmas ornament sort of thing on. With these being a lot longer, I folded them, I think it was about three times. Um, and then half again because they still didn't fit into the book and slotted them in the same way that I did with the smaller foils. So that's one box down and now moving on to the second box of Christmas foils. These are all coloured so these are really nice and I wish I would have used them at Christmas time but I just never got round to it. So I know it's quite hard to see on camera because the foils are holographic but they are really easy to see 
and accessible. How cute is this little gingerbread man on this? So with all my big foils in the book, you can see it does seem quite bulky, but I think I'm just gonna get like some sort of little button and get like an elastic band and wrap it round. So as you would have seen at the start of the video, I do have a second one of these. I'm not too sure what to put in it, either like some of my glitters or some like water decals that I've got. So this is my last big box of foils. These ones are really cute. They've got little butterflies on, some pandas, and then these ones are sort of abstract. So if any of you are interested in where I've got these from, the smaller ones I just got a pack off eBay, and then I think most of the bigger ones were off the website Sheen. They're so good for nail stuff, and I've got a haul coming up soon of all the stuff that I've brought from there. All my foils are now in the folder. I'm really happy with it. It's cut down on a lot of space that was taken up in my drawers with all these big boxes. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you can give me a like and subscribe, it would really help me out. And if you've got any ideas on what I could do with the other booklet, I've obviously only got the ideas of water decals or any of my glitters. Just drop me a comment down below. See you in my next video, guys. Bye.